hello you're welcome how to solve this nice current problem solution from here and what we have here we use two methods the first method here and what is given we can rewrite this as root 10 times 7 plus root 10 then all over also here we have root 10 times 7 minus root 10 then what we apply from when we have root a times b is same thing as root a times root b that is here we can express this as root 10 times root 7 plus root 10 then divided by also here we have root 10 times root 7 minus root 10. The next step here we have root 10 common up here. When we factor it out, this becomes root 10 into bracket root 7 plus 1 left here then divided by also here root 10 is common. Factor it out we have root 10 into bracket root 7 minus 1 left here watch this video to the end give it a thumbs up put your comment share this video and also subscribe then next step here root 10 cancelled each other and we have root 7 plus 1 divided by root 7 minus 1 then next step here we rationalize this sort and multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate or denominator and the conjugate or denominator here we have conjugate sort or denominator that is same thing as root 7 plus 1 is only the sign that changes so use this to multiply numerator and denominator then what we have becomes root 7 plus 1 multiplied by root 7 plus 1 then also divided by here we have root 7 minus 1 and multiply by root 7 plus 1 then from here same thing multiplying when we have a times a we can express this as a squared also here we can write what we have as root 7 plus 1 or square then this also follows when we have a minus b into brackets then open bracket a plus b this same thing as a square minus b square and here a stands as root 7 b as 1 and this becomes root 7 square minus 1 square and then the expansion here follows when we have a plus b all squared. This same thing as a square plus b square plus 2ab. At this here also, this becomes root 7 square plus 1 square plus 2 times root 7 times 1. Then all over here, yeah, square can square root. We have 7 minus 1 square, that's 1. And also, next step here, square cancel square root here. We have 7 plus 1 square, that's 1, then plus. Here we have 2 times root 7 times 1, that's still 2 root 7. Then all over 7 minus 1, we have 6. That is here, 7 plus 1 gives us 8, then plus 2 times root 7, all over 6. Then up here, 2 is common, we factor it down, we have 2 into brackets, 4 plus root 7, then over 6 here, which implies 2 goes here, 1, 2 goes here, 3. Then what we have becomes 4 plus root 7 all over 3. Then what we have here, that is 
4 plus root 7 all over 3. Then let's use the second method. From here, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. And this is what we have becomes root 70 plus root 10. Then multiply by the conjugate so there. That's root 70 plus root 10. Then also divided or divided by what we have here that's root 70 minus root 10 multiplied by the same conjugate which is root 70 plus root 10. Then from here as well, same thing inside the bracket here, just like when we have a times a, which is a square. I also write this as root 70 plus root 10 or squared then divided by yeah also follows but when we have a minus b two brackets open brackets a plus b which is same thing as a square minus b square and here a is to 70 we have root 70 square then minus b is to 10 that's root 10 square then on the expansion up here when we have a plus b or squared which is same thing as a square plus b square plus 2ab then what we have up here give us root 70 square plus root 10 square then plus 2 times root 70 times root 10 then all over here yeah, square cancel square roots we have 70 then minus also square cancel square root we have 10 which implies next step here yeah. square also cancel square root here give us 70 then plus also here yeah, square cancel square root we have 10 then plus here yeah. from when we have root a times root b separate and bring it together as root a times b and here yeah, we apply the same thing and we have two times root 70 times 10 then all over 70 minus 10 that gives us 60 that is this next step here 70 plus 10 we have 80 10 plus 2 multiplied by root here we can express as 7 times 10 10 times 10 all over 60 here then next step here when we have roots a times a, this same thing as a. Roots 10 times 10, that's 10. We take it out and we have 80 plus 2 times 10. Then we are left with root 7 all over 60 here. Which implies this gives us 80 plus 2 times 10, 20. Then root 7 all over 60 from b a. That is next step here. 20 is common whole. We factor it out and we have 20 into brackets 4 plus root 7 left here. Close bracket then over 60 from here. Then here 20 goes here 1, 20 goes here 3. All we have becomes 4 plus root 7 over 3, which is the same thing with all we have in the first method. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comments. And also join our membership package. For access to more of our videos. And thank you. See you next class. Bye for now.